right. So it's the What Happened to Music podcast, Counterfeit Instruments. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So what are we going to be talking about today, Joe? Um, Well, you had a lot to say as far as counterfeit Gibson guitars goes. Um, There's also, obviously, counterfeit saxophones. Specifically, I'm going to make references to uh, Selmer, France, and they actually have a guide to identify. Oh, really? So yeah. it's clearly that much of an issue in terms of the yeah. Counterfeit. So so if you want to start with your end, all right. So now this video is going to have a lot of dislikes because this just gets people angry one way or another. Okay. And I'm just simply I'm just saying, hey, these are questions that nobody seems to be saying. Now I want to be specific on this. This is not about Epiphones. This is not about some Les Paul like brand. This is about counterfeit ones that literally will have the. Name on the headstock of Gibson, Martin, any, you know, uh, PRS, any of those. So please do not talk about how your Epiphone plays, which is exactly where the conversation always goes. Every single time. Oh, the Epiphone. This is not about the 1970s lawsuit models, which came from reputable factories. Right? We were talking about the quote-unquote Chipsons, because they're they're Gibsons made uh, out of uh, China, and of course, Martin's PRS, but b- things that are coming from uh, AliExpress and DHgate and things like that. And we're talking about modern day, right? M- we're talking about modern day. This is happening. This is happening. You can get this on the internet. So yeah, this is about this is about those. I don't care how your Epiphone plays. I don't care how you modded your Epiphone. It plays just like a Gibson. I don't own a Gibson. I don't care. I don't have a, a dog in this race. My best instruments were actually made in China. Okay. Of course, made from factories that 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 I'm familiar with. My Kenny Hill was made in China, un, under under the guidelines of of Kenny Hill, and my Jeton or Gitane, depending on how we're saying it, was also made in in China. So yeah, I don't I don't care about Chinese instruments. It's not this isn't a, a you know America thing. This is about counterfeit, and these are just some of the questions I have. Okay. So basically, and someone can correct me if, if I'm wrong on this. Feel free to correct me or dislike the video. Again, I don't really care. You have no clue about anything about the manufacturing process with these. None. Because right. they come from some secondary website. Again, DHgate is a popular one, AliExpress. And you don't know any of the... And please, and please tell me if you do. You don't know anything about the materials in the paint... You don't know anything about the materials in the metal. And again, I realize this sounds like the 2020 boogeyman sort of story. If I'm going to be buying something that they know is illegal to sell, I mean, they get they get seized all the time, or they get seized, I don't know if I'm going to say all the time. But I'm going to be buying something that they're trying to make for as cheap as possible, and ethically is not correct. How do I know I'm not going to get something that has some sort of toxic heavy metal that I'm going to be playing all the time? Hmm. Your thoughts on that? Um, well, I know for saxophones, you can actually take it to certain dealers and they will inspect the instrument and give you like a certificate of authenticity. Like this is actually this instrument made during this time from this place. Um, is there anything like that for guitars? You can contact the companies with serial numbers. Um, I think the serial number thing, you do hear about stories about like uh, stolen serial numbers, but that's less of a thing. Okay. Um, I mean, that brings up the question of, it, it hurts the secondary market. If I see a, and I, I not only use Gibson as an example, a Martin's a perfect example where it's like, you know, I can, I can play a, a Martin guitar and go, oh yes, yeah, guitar plays really well. I don't think that if someone's selling me a, a Martin, actually I should correct myself. I know I can probably tell the difference between a, a fake Martin and a real Martin because okay. that, that you can't really like quote unquote upgrade. But if, if I'm just buying it on eBay or if I'm buying it just from real quick in a parking lot on or Craigslist. Craigslist ad. <laughs> in a parking lot on Craigslist at a Denny's. Um, I'm probably not going to have enough time to realize, does this thing just not play really well? Is it have it, the actions not set up or not? So the question is, like, it's going to hurt the secondary market. Yeah. Because when you decide to get a Gibson logo on your guitar, because that's the way these these all work. You can get any name if you wanted to get... Joe Straz on the headstock. They'll they'll put Joe Straz on the headstock. That's not what people do, you know. And it's not like there's a a um, you know you'll get uh, in in retro video games repro copy. 
You'll mm. see that all the time. I mean, the retro video game market has the, the same exact issue of, of legit counterfeits. Yeah. So, it. I mean, it, it really it hurts to me. It hurts the secondary market. I mean, would, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, it's uh, you can tell these things are. Usually, you could tell these things are are kind of bogus. Um, <laughs> actually, one of my favorite quotes is someone was saying, "Other than the weight of my 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 chips in." Uh, you can't tell the difference. I'm like, well, Les Pauls are notorious for being like, oh, big hunk of wood, big heavy guitar. Yeah, that's a big factor in the guitar. You know, I mean, because, you gotta you gotta hold it up. You know, and people will like mod these things out, and it's like, well, why didn't you just mod an, an Epiphone? You know, if you if you were saying that I can replace the pickups and the bridge and the tailpiece and the tuners and the the pots and all the electronics. Well, then all you have is a, a piece of wood with, I assume, a thin veneer. Um, <laughs> Sparky, correct me if I'm wrong on this. <laughs> um, a thin veneer. You could have done that with an Epiphone. But for some reason, you wanted to, I assume you wanted to parade it around as a Gibson for whatever reason that is. Well, I, I was looking online for information about counterfeit instruments. And um, Selmer France, which is one of the biggest saxophone manufacturer manufacturing names, they actually have a pamphlet that they put out in the summer of 2011, which is fairly recently because counterfeit saxophones is a huge problem, um, are a huge problem, especially, you know, you take like a brand like the Mark VI, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where they're selling them for upwards of 10, 10 plus grand. Um, obviously, people are going to fake that and try to get a little bit on that. But this pamphlet, it, it gives a couple things to look for. Um, you could tell me if this applies to guitars sure, as well. Absolutely. Um, number one, check the finish of the instrument and it cites specifically like for this model, we only do like a bare brass and like a regular lacquer. We don't do like red. We don't do blue. That, that would obviously be yeah. a sign that it, it's either fake or it's been modified. Yeah. Um, Next one is comparing the engraving on the instrument. Mm -hmm. um, even very simple things like on the letter R in reference, it'll be like, this has a curl. We don't have a curl at the end. We don't do that. Um, things like that. Um, verifying that the felts on the instrument, so where on some of the keys you have a little bit of felt to kind of cushion it, yeah. are the correct color. Although, okay. like it says, um, for example... The Henry Selmer Paris Company only uses black or green felt, not red. Yeah, I would say, yeah, guitar companies, for the most part, they have the, you know, this is only available on, on this This model. is what our company makes. This is what, this is what we make. Um, running into the issue when you need to get something replaced or repaired, your repair guy may or may not be savvy to that information. It is, it is funny, though, because obviously as Selmer gives this information, it just gives, it also goes to the counterfeiters. Who could say, oh. Yeah, you yeah. It, it, so, I mean, it's almost, it, it almost only helps for, like, the secondary market. Yeah. You know, where it's like, oh, you got to make little changes, like, you know, like counterfeit uh, $10 bills. Well, now it has this. Yeah, but, I mean, it's it's helpful to have guides like this um, to pay really close attention, especially if you're making a very large purpose or purchase that you want for the rest yeah. of your life, ideally. Yeah, I mean, and that's, I know... Um, you know, multi-piece necks and things like that, or the way that things are connected. Hmm. Um, things, thing, I mean, things that are more expensive on a quality instrument. Um, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that these things aren't are, aren't playable guitars. I do think it's it's a little bit naive to think that. And I, I realize Gibson's going through a, a lot of issues in terms of p people apparently don't like Gibson. Uh, apparently, they're not a good company to work for as an employee. Like you'll read that all the time. Uh, it's not a, a good company to deal with mm. if you're a, um, you know, a music dealer. And everyone always argues that their quality is dipped. And I'm not saying that the, um, <clears throat> I, I'm not saying that these instruments can't theoretically play as well as a new Gibson. Yeah. Um, but again, I, just coming back to it, you don't know anything about the manufacturing process. Right, you and which is, you can argue that that's not important, but you don't know what you're buying. Yeah, you know, just because it it comes from it's a chips in, is it coming from one? I mean, answer these questions: Is it coming from one factory? Is it coming from three factories? Is it assembled in multiple factories? You there's no there's no information on this, and and that's and I think that's 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 where I'm I'm you know I have an issue with it where it's like you know again I have no problem with Chinese instruments, but I know a little bit about what, what what's happening in the manufacturing. 
So, I don't know. I can't imagine that a, a counterfeit horn. I mean, nobody, correct me if I'm wrong, nobody's buying a counterfeit Selmer to be like, hey, man, check out my counterfeit Selmer. No, I mean, for the most part of what I personally know, if it plays well, I will buy it. Yeah. Um, I think more of the danger would be in I'm overpaying for whatever this is. For what? For whatever. For right. whatever it is. Um, and the one thing is, and people are saying, "Well, I'm not looking to sell it," you know, and and that's and that's fine, you know. I guess for some reason you still need a Gibson name on the head headstock. Yeah. People say, "I'm not looking to sell it." I always think about this though: you're not immortal. Someday you will die, and you know, all of a sudden you're you're you know ten or whatever. You know, Martin, Gibson, all those fakes. And no one's, like, going to have any clue. And someone's going to go to sell those. You know, I think about, you know, the stuff that my grandfather had, which mm. were, were not high-end guitars. But if they were, I'd go, oh, you know, it's, it's this. So they're clearly going to exist. It's not like once you die, they're going to be destroyed. These instruments are available. Not me. I'm taking everything with me. But, but right, right in the casket? No, we're going to put everything in, in my house and we'll burn down the house and, <laughs> and that's it. Lots of... <laughs> I'll be in a little Darth Vader uh, funeral pile right there. And, you, you heard it here first, folks. That's a, a, a legal, <laughs> legally binding when Joe died and burn down his house <laughs> with all his possessions. So let us know what you think. Um, again, this is going to be a video with lots of dislikes. People just get I, uh, illogical with this. And I'm not saying I'm not saying they can't play well. I am saying you don't know where they're coming from. You know nothing about the manufacturing process. You know nothing really about the materials being used. You know nothing about the way the wood's being sourced. Um, you have no clue if the, the the paint and metals are being safe. And it, it hurts the secondary market because I mean these are slowly I don't want to say being flooded, but I mean they're they're certainly out there. It's a hot topic.